by 1928, all major thoroughfares funneled traffic into the city. Empire Way and Rainier Avenue dumped traffic from the south into Jackson Street and 4th Avenue. Most traffic from the north came by way of Fremont and Westlake Avenues. There was an interurban streetcar line from Everett, 30 miles to the north. The continued growth of Seattle brought many people into the downtown business area. Streetcars and automobiles competed for more space on the streets. Seattle still had several miles of wood planked streets. They became more difficult to maintain. With the improvements and higher speeds of the automobile, brick paved streets became more treacherous, especially in wet weather. And the city began a program to develop all streets and arterials using asphalt and concrete. The depression years of the early 30s brought much suffering and difficulties to the people of Seattle. Yet three major public works projects were accomplished during those years. The removal of the remainder of Denny Hill at the north end of the downtown area in 1930. The construction in 1932 of the Aurora Bridge and the major improvements along the Central Waterfront District with the installation of a concrete seawall in 1934. The Second World War heralded a new era of industrial development. Thousands of people came to Seattle to work in the aircraft industry. The steel industry and shipyards attracted many thousands more. And by 1945, the population of Seattle had exploded to over 400,000. The post-war reconstruction years and gradual progress of the 50s were important years. But this progress brought problems never faced before in any decade in Seattle's history. Streets became crowded. Highways were overloaded. New arterials became inadequate almost as soon as they were constructed. But these problems were temporarily forgotten when in 1962, Seattle staged its second World Fair. The fair was dedicated to the future and was called Century 21. Just as the Alaska Yukon Pacific Exposition provided a new campus for the University of Washington, Century 21 gave Seattle a magnificent Seattle center where thousands of people come each year to enjoy sporting events, science, music, and all the excitement that goes with public recreation. Today, the population of Seattle exceeds 500,000. 500,000 more people live in the metropolitan areas of King County. This tremendous growth that raised Seattle from a single log cabin to a great city, almost in the course of one man's lifetime, has made today's living more complex and confusing. Seattle's population has leveled off, but its cosmopolitan stature continues to grow. The quality of living has been enhanced by emphasis on historic and aesthetic values. More people seem to care more problems seem evident, but more new kinds of programs are aimed at answering people's needs. Today, the Seattle Engineering Department and other public works departments of the city 
provide those basic services and improvements that are so essential to the city. It is a never-ending program. It is difficult to be conservative about Seattle's future because we have so much going for us. Everything about Seattle, its people, its scenery, its history, its spirit have been notable. This is Seattle, picture of a young city.